You'll never believe how these Hollywood stars broke into the industry. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 celebs who found fame in the oddest ways. Professionally, I just couldn't get the ball rolling. I didn't really know what to do. I was like, well, maybe I should go back to music. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we will not be including reality TV personalities or people who became internet famous, like Danielle Brigoli, better known as the Catch Me Outside girl. Catch me outside, how about that? Huh? Catch me outside, how about that? Number 10, Pamela Anderson. For most people, attending a football game is never going to lead to a decades-long career in the entertainment business. Of course, most people aren't Pamela Anderson. In 1989, the future Baywatch star attended a BC Lions game in Vancouver, where she caught the eye of one of the camera operators, and he wasted no time putting her up on the Jumbotron. Her good looks, coupled with the fact that she was wearing a Labatt's Beer t-shirt, led to a brief gig as a spokesmodel for the company, and just a few months later, she was on the cover of Playboy magazine. Talk about a quick rise to the top! Number 9. Jason Statham Long before he was one of the hottest action stars on the planet, Jason Statham was just another young, ridiculously good-looking, street merchant. It was the early 90s, and although he had landed a gig modeling for French Connection, it wasn't enough to pay the bills. He turned to selling, quote, fake perfume and jewelry on the street corners. Oddly enough, it was his penchant for selling counterfeit goods that landed him a role in Guy Ritchie's crime comedy, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. His past came in handy for the film's opening scene, which featured him using his quick wit to sell jewelry to passersby. Squeeze in if you can, left leg, right leg, your body will follow. They call it walking. Number 8. Natalie Portman Of all the places for future Academy Award winner and Harvard graduate Natalie Portman to be discovered, a Long Island restaurant had to have been one of the most unlikely. Portman and her mom were enjoying a slice of pizza when a modeling scout approached them. Flattered as she was, the future A-lister didn't want to be a model and asked if she could be put in contact with an acting agent. The move paid off, and just a few years later, she found herself starring opposite Jean Reno in the action thriller Leon the Professional. And the rest, as they say, is history. This building's full of rats. I don't want my old man to find out. Got enough problems. Number 7. Mel Gibson They may take our lives, but they'll never take... Oh, Mel Gibson went from being one of Hollywood's hottest actor-directors to one of its most infamous. And while his image has slowly begun to repair itself, he'll always be considered one of the industry's most controversial figures. Hey, you want to see crazy? I'll show you. <laughs> that being said, Gibson's career as we know it almost never happened. It was only after giving his friend, Steve Bisley, a lift to the auditions for 1979's Mad Max that Gibson's acting career truly took off. Director George Miller saw Gibson's face, bruised from a bar brawl the night before, and felt he was perfect for the lead role. Sometimes it pays to get beaten up. I'll say the name, and you say yes or no. Number 6. Marilyn Monroe the preeminent sex symbol of the 20th century and beyond, it's impossible to think of Hollywood's golden age without picturing Marilyn Monroe. Ooh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? And yet, in 1944, she was just another young woman helping with the war effort by working in a munitions factory. At this point in time, she was a brunette by the name of Norma Jean Mortensen. It was only after photographer David Conover was sent to the factory to capture morale-boosting pictures that Norma Jean was discovered. A stunning beauty, the photographer convinced her to quit her job to become a full-time model. Were it not for Conover's intervention, Norma Jean Mortensen may have never become the one, the only, Marilyn Monroe. Number 5. Mila Kunis I mean, with my top-of-the-pyramid Caucasian jeans and your splash of dark, beautiful, smoky Baltic, check. Goodbye, Rex. Born in the Ukraine when it was still a part of the Soviet Union, Mila Kunis's chances of becoming a Hollywood actress improved dramatically when her family moved to Los Angeles in 1991. However, it was hardly as easy as it sounds. In order to immigrate to the United States, Kunis's family had to win the lottery, so to speak. You see, the United States only gives out 50,000 immigrant visas per year. That may seem like a large number until you realize that there are millions of applicants. Somehow, Kunis' family won, but their journey wasn't over. It only meant they could apply for a second lottery, which, incredibly, they also won. 
Now that's luck. Number 4. Mandy Moore We'll be honest, Mandy Moore's origin story sounds made up, but we assure you it's 100% true. At the tender age of 13, Moore was recording in an Orlando music studio when a FedEx delivery man overheard her singing. Apparently, this was no ordinary delivery guy. In fact, he'd be the one to change Moore's life forever. You see, this FedEx employee had a friend who worked as an A&R at Epic Records. So when he recognized how talented Moore was, he knew exactly who to call. He sent his friend Moore's demo and a short while later, she signed with Epic Records. Incredible. Fairly predictable. Number 3. Harrison Ford Harrison Ford has had a strange career trajectory. He had a number of minor film and TV roles throughout the late 60s and early 70s, but ultimately grew tired of nickel and diming it through Hollywood. To pay the bills and support his family, he became a carpenter, and that's when everything changed. After a few years building decks, he was introduced to a Hollywood agent by one of his carpentry clients. From there, he met George Lucas, who just so happened to be casting for his upcoming film, American Graffiti. Hey, I like the color of your car there, man. What's that supposed to be? Sort of a cross between piss yellow and puke green, ain't it? The role revitalized Ford's career, and he was soon headlining some of cinema's most successful franchises. On Solo, I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. Number 2. Charlize Theron Born in South Africa, Charlize Theron left at the age of 16 to pursue a career in modeling. She'd later moved to Los Angeles with dreams of becoming an actor. Unfortunately, things weren't going the way she hoped, and on one fateful day, her frustration boiled over during a trip to the bank. Theron was attempting to cash a check that her mother had sent, but the teller refused to accept it. Theron exploded in anger, screaming at the teller with the passion of a future A-list actor. F you, man. Yeah, f you. You don't know me! Incredibly, the man in line behind her was a talent agent, and he gave her his card. Won Academy Award later, and it's clear he made the right choice. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. There are just some uh, projects I'm working on. Museum. Hospital for kids. Really? Are you an architect? Just till I get my uh, PGA Tour card. This is my very good friend, Mr. Gump. Here, can you say hi to him? Hello, Mr. Gump. Number 1. Norman Reedus If only becoming a Hollywood star could be this easy for all of us. Back in the 90s, Norman Reedus, best known for his roles in The Boondock Saints and The Walking Dead, had just gotten fired from his job at a motorcycle shop. Later that night, a friend took him out to a party where he, how can we put this delicately, got ridiculously drunk. Oddly enough, it was at the height of his wastedness that someone approached him and asked if he'd like to be in a play. And that's how his career in Hollywood began. Talk about a crazy start to an awesome career. And I drank way too much and started yelling at a bunch of people. And then somebody approached me and asked me to be in a play. <laughs> hey, kid, yeah. you got something. I like the way you yeah. yell, yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.